All right, guys, here's a quick explanation today of why constellations change where they're at in the night sky. Now, we're going to look at two different things. The first one is uh, why they change with the seasons. So, for example, right now we're getting into winter. So if you went outside at night and looked south, you would see Orion. And uh, you'd see Orion up high in the sky. But if I went out during the summer and looked for Orion, I would never be able to see him. And I'm going to attempt to explain that first. So here's the deal. In my picture, you can see we've got the sun, and we're looking at it from above, so we're like above our solar system. So Earth is going around the sun counterclockwise. So let me just pencil in Earth over here. If Earth's sitting here and the sun's sitting here, this side of the Earth is night, or night. Let's try again. This side of the Earth is day. This side of the Earth back here that I'm shading in would have to be night. So if you're gonna look at stars, which side of the Earth are you on? You're on the dark side of the Earth. So this is you, and when you look to the south, you look out into space, this direction in space, to the right, so to speak. Now, if this is you, could you possibly see Scorpius over here, these stars? The answer is no, because you'd have to look through the Earth, even if you could see through the Earth. The sun would be in the way, and you wouldn't be able to see these stars way in the distance, you're just going to see the sun. So you're limited to whatever you can see, you know, sh sh over here somewhere. Now, as we go around the sun, however, throughout a year, we go from winter to spring. So let's put the earth over here. Now, the night sky, or the dark side of the earth, is facing this direction. If you want to see Orion, yeah, you know, right as the sun sets, you might be able to see him. But for the most part, what are you going to see? You're going to see constellations off this direction, like Hydra, which is a serpent, by the way. I know it doesn't look like much, but that's Hydra the serpent. Now. If you look to the other direction, could you possibly see Pegasus down here? No, because you'd have to look through the Earth and through the Sun again. So you're limited to whatever direction the dark side of the Earth is facing during any given season. So let me jump over here. During the summer, the dark side of the Earth is facing Scorpius. And when you get over here to fall, the dark side of the Earth is facing out towards Pegasus. So as the Earth revolves around the sun or orbits around the sun, the dark side of the earth or the night sky faces different directions in space. And I know this will be a shocker for you, but when you look different directions in space, you see different constellations. Okay, second idea is this idea. If I stayed up all night long and watched the constellations to the north, I would notice them moving. So, what we have to do is first understand this little box up here. This is the Earth, the Earth is tilted on its axis, and the North Pole is pointing into space towards a star called Polaris, which means pole star, because it's straight up from the North Pole. So Polaris, we often call the North Star, because it's pretty much due north. So now we're gonna look down here to my little landscape here. This is facing north, so this is a horizon. Here we got a house, we got a nice little tree. And when I look in the northern sky, what do I see? I see Polaris, the North Star. Now, there's one constellation that I just picked. I could have picked the Big Dipper, I guess, or the Little Dipper. I chose Cassiopeia, it's easy to draw. And we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay up all night and all day and watch Cassiopeia and see what happens. Now, first things first, back to my picture up here. Do you know why it looks like stars move? Because Earth is not sitting still. Earth is doing what? Spinning on its axis. Now when Earth spins on its axis, it makes things in space, like the sun and planets and stars, look like they go around us. So since we're spinning on our axis, rotating, it looks like the stars are moving. The reality is they're not, but we say they are because in our sky they are. So first things first, as we spin, it makes all these objects look like they're rotating counterclockwise around Polaris. So all of these constellations won't get closer to Polaris. They won't get further away from Polaris. They're just going to rotate around it and kind of shift position. So since this all happens because Earth is spinning on its axis, we have to ask ourselves, how long does it take the Earth to go around once? I'll wait for it. Yes, 24 hours, good job. Hopefully you actually said that out loud. That'd be pretty funny. Um, so anyway, in 24 hours, if we sat outside staring north, we'd see Cassiopeia go all the way around once, right? That's 
That would take 24 hours. Here's the problem though. Half of that time, the sun is up. So, I'm gonna make a mark here. This is night and this is day. So I'm not gonna see any of this path. Basically, if I watched all night long, I would see Cassiopeia rotate counterclockwise. So this would be, you know what? Midnight maybe, she'd be sitting up here. Sunrise, she's sitting way over here. Then the sun comes up and I can't see her, but she's continuing to move. And then when the sun sets, suddenly she's right back over here. And this is what you will notice with any constellation. The only difference is, let's say I have a constellation over here that's like a triangle shape or something. It's gonna go counterclockwise, but its circle is gonna be much, much bigger. And what happens when it gets down to here and over to here? It's gonna disappear below the horizon. So constellations that are close to Polaris are called northern constellations or circumpolar constellations because they go around the North Pole or around Polaris. Some of them kind of dip below the horizon sometimes. Then ones that are further, you know, straight up or to the south, they're gonna disappear for much longer periods of time. So anyway, this is what constellations do if you stay up all night. They rotate counterclockwise around Polaris because the Earth is spinning. That's what causes the motion and Polaris is directly above the North Pole. Hope you learned something new today.